guys, welcome to Kayla's Beauty Talk. Let's start with some eye primer. Prime my eyes without makeup. If you're watching me for the first time, my name is Kayla Smith. That's way too much. We do not even need that much for both my eyes. I don't know why I use so much, whatever. But if you're watching me for the first time, let me know in the comments. If you're just on the replay, hashtag replay. Seriously, that was like way too much primer. <laughs> Hey Chrissy, a little really does go a long way. So this is just gonna prime my eyes for the makeup and my brows so then they don't crease. I'm just, I'm not even using the rest of that because it's not necessary. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Teresa. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Alicia. Happy Saturday, y'all. Let's start with some brows. Do our medium brow liner. Oh, awesome, Amanda, hello. Make sure I say hey when you come on. Hi, Angela. Tell me where you're coming in from. Hi, Dorixa, is that how you say it? Hi, Susanna. So I'm doing a look that I don't normally do. I'm not a matte person or a brown person necessarily, like specifically, like, you know, it's pretty, but you know, I like, I like sparkle and I like fun colors, but we're going matte and brown today. You know, what everybody else normally uses. So my husband's on night shift right now for the next, well, about three months now. He's been on night shift for about a month now. And um, so, you know, I've been up for quite a few hours now. And it seems like this time works good for a lot of people. I know there's no time that's gonna work for everybody. It's not how it's gonna work, but um, this just works for me right now. Hi, Denise. Yeah, Stacey. Thanks so much, Nicole. Hi, Hillary. If you guys are tuning in, make sure to hit the little share button if you can. And if you do share, let me know. Really appreciate it. And hit that little heart button whenever you love something. Just let me know you're still there. I'm just brushing through my brows to soften any lines. I don't brush too hard. If you obviously want to soften lines more, like you pressed too hard before on the liner part, just press harder. You know when you're blending out part but that works good this brow has been killing me lately so this used to always be my good brow and now this has been my better brow I don't understand what's going on thank you Susanna but I just brush it all down so I can kind of see my top line as I'm forming it you're working that size Joan thank you for sharing Sandra hi Mika the brow liner is 20, or no, oh my God, not 20, 19, 19. <laughs> oh my goodness, Brittany, yes. I've been using the, I mean, they're fuller for me, not most people, but my brows are really thin in general. Um, But I've been using the Esteem Lash Serum on my brows too. And like, I noticed results within like a week on my brows for it to start filling in. Like, like this area of my brows used to be like really, really thin. And you know, my brows just naturally aren't thick. That's just how they are. But it's definitely, it's definitely helping them come in a little bit fuller. So I'm going to just use little hair motions to fill the in-between in. So who likes matte brown, brown eyeshadow? Or who's a more of a color person like me? Not that I have a problem with, you know, matte brown is so pretty too. It's just... A little plain for daily daily use for Kayla. Yesterday's look was like the most Kayla look. Sparkly and purple. <laughs> what is good to grow your brows out? Um, the, the, the Steam Lash Serum is what's been filling in my sparse areas of my brows. It's our lash serum that improves your lash length and volume over time. But you can use it on your brows too to give the same type of effect. Okay, both my brows love me today. <laughs> Okay, let's go on to shadows. We are using three cream shadows. We are starting with Victorious. We're basically going to put this all over. I'm going to um, also try to define under my brow really well. Let's see. I might have to clean one of these brushes real quick. You're more of a matte person? That's good. I know there's a lot of there's a lot of matte and neutral gals out there. Awesome, Nicole, you too. So that's why we got to do looks like this. Because it's good for everybody. And if you didn't know, this month's kudos includes any three cream shadows of your choice for only $59, which saves you 19 bucks. 
which is awesome. These things will last you years, literally. Um, literally. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Kiki, I've never gone through a whole, a whole container. <laughs> Hi, Erica. And Notorious is definitely the one I probably use most. And, like, I've still had this shoot when this came out a year ago I think 13 months ago and it still feels like brand new it's still very very full especially because it's not like it's not like it comes in full it comes in just not indented like this thank you so much for sharing Kiki your more matte colors yeah okay so I'm trying to get a little bit in the end and I'm going to try to define under my brows to start with this If you don't know too much about our cream shadows, they are creams that dry to a powder finish, so they don't crease or anything. It is awesome. I would totally went way too high on that. Um, but we have both matte and shimmer versions of it. You know, like, you know, there's different matte colors and different shimmer colors. Um, but there's also three brand new metallic colors that are only available this month in the kudos. Thank you so much for sharing, Kayla. Thank you, Kelly. I know I was never a floral person before, but as soon as I started getting that, I got obsessed. <laughs> Thank you, Cassie. Uh, both, um, I know I'm going to get questions about it. I get, uh, I'm just going to define it under the other brow and then I'm going to keep going over my eyelids. Um, what was I, gonna say? I, get, I know I'm going to get questions about this. I don't know which place this is from, but I get most of my floral shirts from Closet Candy Boutique um, online and um, Pink Lily Boutique. They both have very similar styles. Um, actually, basically the same exact floral prints, just in different, you know, some v-necks, some like this. Those are my favorite places. <laughs> Thank you, Cassie. Hey, April. Okay, so now if you can see, I have dark, veiny eyelids. I'm going to put this all over, and this is something you can do before any eye look if you want. Um, this is going to be my lid color in general, like my color that's going to be throughout here. But um, if you have dark, veiny eyelids like I do, this is awesome as a base for any eyeshadow look. And I actually use this on my lips all the time, too, to do an ombre effect. Oh, kind of fuzzy. That sucks. It doesn't even say weak connection on my end, which is... Hopefully it'll just fix itself in a minute. That's usually what happens, is it just fix itself. It doesn't in, like, a minute or two. Maybe we can start over. Sorry, I'm just using my finger to finish blending it in and I'm using our cream shadow brush to apply it I don't know if you can hopefully it's not blur anymore so hopefully you can see how it just I mean obviously it's a very light color it's lighter than my skin tone um, but it just evens out that coloring mine fixed itself good okay good that's usually what happens is it fixes out I was like let's hope it just randomly comes in and out I guess so could you guys see the difference between uh, my veiny eyelids and it just kind of evens that out Thank you so much for sharing, Amy. Hey, Rhonda. This is called Victorious. So just a matte, like, nude color. And I did not use too much product at all, too. When I get product on, I'm just getting a little bit on, like, that's, like, as much as I was using every time I was dipping it in. I was not, like, scooping big chunks out or anything. You don't need that much. Okay. So we got that all over. Now we're going to go through with Grateful. This is a really pretty, like, like a warm medium to light color. Hey, Alexis. Awesome. Hi, Taylor. We're going to use the same cream shadow brush, and we're going to put this um, on the outer V. We get about that much just on the edge, if you can see that. Oh, thank you, Amy. I 
And again, these are creams that dry to a powder finish. They don't crease or anything. And this color is really, really pretty just alone if you wear it alone. Because like I said, it's not too dark. We're going to go through with a little bit darker color. The very outer V. Thank you, Kiki. I'm doing good, Tammy. Oh, awesome, Nicole. It was like so good. I need to put some hottie in my lips right now. Okay, so let's do the other side. And then we're gonna blend this line out in a second. I'm just gonna do the other side first so I can get the general shape down. So for this month's kudos, like I said, you get three cream shadows. Um, and our kudos is just our monthly deal if you're new to watching me and don't know what that is. Um, you can get three cream shadows for um, only 59 which saves you um, 19 bucks. Um, I was going to say, but if you want help choosing some shades, um, message me and I can help you. Um, if you want the kind of questions I'm going to ask, so if you remember, you can just tell, tell me, do you like, like matte or shimmer normally? What type of shades do you normally go with? Would you want to try one of the new metallics? That type of thing. And then I can try to help narrow it down. I think we're good. We got the general shape down. I'm going to kind of wipe off my brush. What are you doing makeup ass? Eden, I think I'm confused by your question or else it got canceled. Like, I didn't see the second half of your message. Maybe you sent too early. Hi, Iris. Hi, Lily. Okay, so I kind of wiped off my brush and now we're going to blend. Just doing little, little back and forth motions. These cream shadows blend up so easy they blend into each other good you can use them with any press shadow too like our eyeshadow palettes or individual press shadows like yesterday i used it with a shadow and you can kind of the press shadows um like a powder basically is what i mean and it blends in really good this is i can't remember because these two stores are like so alike i can never remember which one's from what um but either the closet candy boutique or um pink lily boutique they both have like these stylish shirts um, and they, they, those are stores that kind of sell from other stores. I don't even know how to explain it because none of the stores, like the tags does not say like Closet Candy Boutique ever, if that makes sense. So it's weird. Oh, goodness, Nicole, that's what I hear. Oh, awesome. Um, Iris, awesome. Everybody's getting their peppermint. Okay, we're blending this side. Like I said, this seriously. Just light little motions because it blends really easily. And I don't want to wipe too much product away. Just want to blend a little bit. And as soon as these dries, they're smudge proof, water resistant. Blend the lid colors together. Tina. Oh no, Tina, I don't have room for a tree. I'm kind of too lazy for a tree too, but there's just, even if I wanted to, there's physically no room in this house for one. Hi, Susan. Oh, awesome, Tina. Welcome, Liz. Oh my God, Kelly, don't make me check out another boutique because somebody told me I had to check out Pink Lily and then I spent like 400 bucks, okay? I have a problem with <laughs> online shopping. <laughs> this is my time of the year, my excuse time of the year. You're like, oh, I need winter clothes, right? Like, I don't have last year's winter clothes. Um, but maybe I will. 3125 Boutique. I've really never heard of that. Rochelle. I listed all the colors in um, the description of this video. And I always go back through at the end as well. My eyes look good right now. Obviously, you can just keep it nice and light and just do these two colors together, but we're going to deepen it up a little bit. Um, and what's awesome about the cream shadows, especially the matte, you can totally use these as um, as a liner, too. So if you took um, the, the angled side of our Brow Artist brush 
or something very small and petite like this and you just take it I'm not gonna do this today but you can take this and put it at the ends and like use it to make liner or wings which is so so awesome so you can totally do that with this um, if you want to keep the rest of the look really light so I want to wipe that off before it dries um but we are gonna actually take a cream or crease brush except I want to clean this because I don't need green all over my eyes super good stuff I know I have a problem I bought way too much stuff lately I'm like I think I have enough winter clothes <laughs> I think I do now <laughs> Oh yeah, actually that makes sense. Hi Danae. Okay, we're wiping this green off. I cannot wait till I get unique spray cleaner. I cannot wait to throw that out. Oh god, knocking stuff over. Get all this green off of here. I might have to use a different brush. This is taking forever. <laughs> Cindy, thank you so much today. Oh my goodness. Get off green. Should have thought about this before I got on here. Okay. Okay. It's pretty much all. Yay. Good enough. Okay. So now we're going to take Proud. This gorgeous deep matte brown. And we're going to use our crease brush. Like I said, this dries to a soft powder, yeah, soft powder finish um, on your eyes. So you can use a different brush if you want. Um, especially if I'm going to go through the crease. I get a good amount of product there. And I'm just going to add a, a little product through here. Yes, Amy. Hi, Emily. Smudge out some color below. Okay, I'm gonna get this product on the other eye and then we're gonna do some blending. Hi, Nicole. Hey, when you guys pop on, tell me where you're coming in from. What are you guys doing this weekend? I'm gonna wipe off the excess product. Doesn't have to be completely clean just to be able to blend more. Christmas party to go to? Operation decoration, yeah. That's always a time consumer, right? Just doing little motions to blend up and over. Lazy Saturday, yeah, sounds good. I know, Tenacious is so pretty. That's what I got on my presenter's kit, and that's what started my cream shadow obsession. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about if you didn't know. <laughs> Tenacious is a gorgeous bronzy color. And it's weird, gold was actually the only color of eyeshadow I had before um, I joined Unique. It was. It was just a gold random shadow. I think I got it at Kohl's or something. Um, you know, I really liked that. It was it was actually really close to Tenacious. So when I got Tenacious, I was like, yeah, I like this. Except I was kind of scared because I was like, cream shadow, that doesn't sound good. Because I thought it was going to crease, but it didn't. Which was amazing. I'm 
trying to do the, the blending in very slow motion, doing a little bit on both sides. I'm going to get a little bit more product for this side, though. Keep wiping my product off so we can do some more blending. Say hey when you guys pop on. This is the crease brush right now. Oh, it should. Wait, is that today? Wait, did you say today? Oh, goodness. I hope then. Because <laughs> that lip, yeah, that lip glitter. Oh, my God. I'm dying to get my hands on it. Hi, Paula. Need a little bit more up here. Oh, stop, Taylor! Just practice. It's more so for me. It definitely was a lot of hands-on practice, not just watching. So, like, I just like I used to practice. Like when I started doing like lives, like full videos, I was practicing every look the night before, before I did it. Now I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> but I was always practicing what I wanted to do the day, you know, the day before. I had no idea really what colors went well together. That type of thing. Just lots of hands-on practice. Thank you so much, Diane. Hi, Jamie. Yeah, seriously, Tanusha is gorgeous. Hi, Sabrina. Okay, I think we're pretty good with that. I actually want to take a little bit more of the great fall color. I'm going to use this cream shadow brush and I just want to put it right those that in between color using its brush again. You guys have any questions for me about anything? Oh, she got the sparkly lip bundle? I haven't seen that video yet. What was that, Erica or is that April? Nicole. Because I know April just got it. Erica might have gotten it too, and I just might not have seen it. Sorry, I'm going through with a little bit more proud to just have a little bit of product on my brush, like barely any, just to help it blend best. I know. I love Erica. I love all my girls. I'm totally not into the loop here, but is this makeup you're selling? I guess yes. Yeah. Not in not in stores. Nope. It's all available at KaylaBeautyTalk.com. It ships directly to your house from the warehouse. Usually, I can't guarantee this, but most orders are received in five days. I can probably guarantee within like ten, um, but most orders are received in like three to five honestly like they're usually really quick about it um what was I gonna say and everything comes with the money back guarantee always Erica had glitter all over <laughs> okay oh, that sounds like me <laughs> I always make a hot mess when I'm trying something new like that glitter palette I was making a hot mess on my face the first time I got black all over me because <laughs> I kept getting all over my hands okay so I think I think we're good with that um so we used 
proud this is in the description proud grateful and victorious you get any three cream shadows this month for only 59 we have matte shimmer and brand new metallic the metallic's only available this month um we are we are not gonna do wings we are gonna keep this simple today okay right up below on both sides right make sure i'm gonna end up like not having liner on one side we are gonna do some let's go bold on the lashes if we have soft eyes we gotta have bold lashes right because why not <laughs> thank you alejandra we're gonna do epic and 3d today okay, let's get my hair out of the way although i hate tucking my hair behind my ears i get mascara all in my hair if i don't <laughs> okay so we're starting with epic which is our one-step mascara it's gonna of course be used alone but today i'm going to pair it with our 3d mascara which is like our falsies in a tube you can definitely use that alone as well uh, but when you use them together you get like Wow, lashes. And actually, you can save 10% right now on bundling the two pair. And if you add, add this to um, to your kudos order, you will end up getting free shipping. If you spend over $100, you get free shipping, which is so awesome. Yes, Jocelyn, it is. I know. Epic is so nice. It just separates your lashes and curls them up so nice. It's just a quick, simple one step, um, but it actually works. Like, I compared it to my old favorite mascara, and it gave me even more length and volume, but the, definitely the most length and volume is from 3D. But even just one coat. Like, normally with Epic, I use two coats, but even with just one coat, it just separates them, curls them up good. Both of our mascaras are chemical free and ophthalmologist tested and approved. Proof for contact wearers, for sensitive eyes. But all our products are naturally based, never tested on animals, have no harmful chemicals in there. Now you have to do the hair for your body? Awesome. I did my hair different today and I love it. It only took me like 10 minutes. I just took my curling wand and I did bigger chunks. I normally do smaller chunks of like hair. And like it turned out like different kind of curls, but I, I like it. And it was really quick. <laughs> my husband's on night shift right now, so I've been up for, for a while. I get up when you guys get up, basically. I mean, obviously everybody gets up different times, but a general sense. <laughs> Yes, exactly. When you're in a hurry, you just go through with Epic. And then what you can do, even after it completely dries, if say, you know, for work, you just want quick step, Epic, bam. And then um, at night, you're going out somewhere, you want, you know, fuller lashes, you can literally just add 3D on top of dry Epic. You just do gel fiber gel, like you're going to, you know, I'm about to do now. And then you can have larger, you know, fuller lashes. And it's awesome. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, Susanna. Okay, so now we take the gel which, you know, you apply like normal mascara. Awesome, John. I'm glad you're loving everything. Okay, so then I just take the gel. Got it clearly all over my lashes. Then you take the little loose fibers and they just attach to that gel to give you even more length and volume. And then I'm going to do it in a second, but you want to make sure to always seal those fibers in. You can already see already, and I haven't even sealed them in. That's going to give you even more length and volume. You can already see how much more length and volume that gives you. Um, but you want to seal them with the gel so then those fibers don't fall throughout the day, you know? Hi, Lauren. No, it definitely, neither of the mascaras feel heavy at all. Like, I can still touch them throughout the day when they're dry. Um, I can touch them, they move, they definitely don't feel heavy, they don't lose curl. It is awesome. And you can definitely still use if you like a curling lash curler thing. Uh, anybody can still use that too. I just personally... I've never been a big into curling my lashes. I'm more scared to death of ripping all my lashes out, just like sneezing by accident, just ripping them all out. <laughs> it's just totally me though. Um, but yeah, 
Seriously, you can definitely get either of these mascaras and it's awesome, but if you get the set of two, both of them, and you can use them separately or together, you know, just to kind of depending. I definitely do not use them together all the time, just because, you know, it takes a little bit, you know, a little bit longer, but it's worth every second of every lash you get. But if you get the set of two, um, you save 10%. And somebody correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure it's 47, right, for the set of two? Because Epic's 29, or Epic's 24, 3D's 29, and then you save 10%. I think it's 47 is what the ten percent off takes you to thank you Nicole and then if you want to get our lash serum too our steam lash serum which improves your lash length and volume over time you can get all three for a 20% savings Correct. Awesome. Perfect. I'm sometimes bad at memorizing numbers, but I do good now. Oh my goodness. Separate. There we go. I like to be picky. <laughs> so then again, we take the fibers. If you feel like there's too many on your on, that come out on your wand, you can just kind of press them on the back of your hand so you don't end up getting too much. When it's a fresh one, I sometimes feel like a lot comes out at once, like a fresh tube. So then that just helps so you don't get too much. And just apply lightly, mid to ends. And then you want to make sure to seal them in again with the gel. So I like to let that dry while I do my other eye before I seal. I just feel like it works best that way personally. No, we're on night shift, so I've been up for hours. Every four months, my husband changes from days to nights. And I obviously prefer nights because that means I'm American sleep schedule, which is awesome. Hi, Laura. Hi, There we go. Epic M3. Seriously. And the way it curls my lashes, like, if you watch me regularly, my lashes curl up kind of naturally on their own. But when I use Epic, you can really see the way they curl up, which is crazy. And I've seen, like, my one friend has really straight lashes. And one time I went to her house, like, right after she got Epic. And I was like, um, what did you do with your lashes? She's like, that's just one coat of Epic. And I was like, I was even shocked because her lashes never curl up the way it curled up. Okay, sorry. <laughs> little sidetrack we are going through some primer all over my face I already did my eye primer on my eyes I'm doing my face primer now um, I'm going to use powder foundation today I got a little hormonal acne going on down there not that you can really see unless I show it but I'm going to show you how the powder covers that bad boy those bad boys up sorry let's make sure I don't have mascara all over my finger but before I use my powder foundation I like to have like basically fresh primer on my face like put the primer on right before so just pea size amount for my whole face this is going to prep my face for makeup Helps so it doesn't settle in fine lines and wrinkles. Helps the color gets true to color and I get the most coverage. So again, this is my face before. Hopefully you guys can see those horrible acne that's coming on. It does. I do not break out often at all, but you know, that fun time of the month when you always do. <laughs> Let's get our hottie off our lips. So then I can use my powder. I use color taffeta right now. If you need help choosing your shades, send me a picture of natural lighting. I'm gonna use this pad to give me like the fullest coverage, but for the most part, all over my face, I just use our powder concealer brush. Just get a good amount of product on here. Just blend it everywhere. If you have very oily skin like I do, you need this powder in your life. It's full coverage powder. 
it's not cakey, very thin and lightweight, um, but I never have to worry about touching my face up, getting oily throughout the day or anything along those lines. I don't know if you can see just from the powder, puff, just from this brush, the powder concealer brush, what it does, the pad though is where you get that max coverage. Awesome Debbie, hello. But if you struggle with oily skin and you need full coverage or even if you don't need full coverage, you can just use the brush and use less, you know, and you'll get light to medium coverage if you just use less. That's what's awesome. So you can kind of use as little or as much as you want. Okay, let's go through the pad. It's not thick or cakey, okay? I can just keep pressing it on, and it's not going to look like I have a lot of product on. It's so hard for me to see right there. But hopefully you can see. I can barely see down there. But hopefully you can see how that just covered that right up. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Kristen. The powders, yes, it's all the same shades. Um, some of the lighter shades, I would say, all the way up to like chiffon or maybe even satin, um, the powders tend to be a tiny bit lighter than the liquids. Um, so you can message me if you want to make sure you're getting the right shade for you. Just send me a picture of natural lighting. So you can see I just covered up under my eyes a little bit more. Hey, Stacy. Thank you, Stacy. No, it's not powdery. I mean, if you have very dry skin, I would not recommend using this alone. You can use this on top of the BB cream, which is a tinted moisturizer. But no, definitely it is not, you know, cakey or powdery looking or anything like that. Especially when you use it with a primer, because the primer is like a silkiness, so when it, you know, it kind of just attaches to that, that primer, if that makes sense. So hopefully you guys can see the way those, those bad boys are just gone now. Oh really Debbie? Message me. We can figure something out. Okay, so we got that. Let's get some bronzer going, get some color on my face. We're gonna use Hermosa, our medium shade of bronzer. We use our blusher brush. Yes, matte finish is my life. So if you don't like a matte finish, um, you can use something in the concealer. A skin perfecting concealer is definitely full coverage, so you can still, you know, get that coverage going if you don't want the matte finish. But you know, I love me a matte finish. Okay, we're gonna blend that out. Don't you worry. We just gotta get the, the definition there first. What should I do my lips, guys? Any ideas? Loaded. Let me show everybody that. Loaded is totally not one of my colors. <laughs> I could do it because it probably would go, go with good with this look, but it's like a mauvey medium pink. I guess both two people want loaded. Aren't you guys? Did you guys talk to each other before you got on here? <laughs> That's funny. Ritzy, a light pink. Where is this other brush I just used? Just gonna go back through with whatever products left on this brush to make sure everything's blended good. Okay, I guess I guess we'll do loaded for y'all today. It'll probably go good at this look. It's just not a it's not a Kayla color. <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. But it is definitely a good color in general. Let us do some highlight. Let's do benevolent today. Benevolent's our second lightest luminizer, which is the powder version that I tend to use. We do have a stick, which is a cream to powder and a cream version, because I do powder foundation mostly. 
That's why I just prefer powder. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So pretty. We have five shades, so if you don't like it as light and as bright, we can get one closer to like your skin tone. Oh my God, it's so pretty though. Thank you, Anne. Yeah, it says look for all you girls who like neutral colors, although I do like it today. It is pretty. I'm just not usually a neutral matte girl, <laughs> but it is. Okay, let us, let's, let's get this hair out of my ears because I you know I hate it back there. volume back um loaded we'll do loaded today for you gals which you know I love my our lipsticks in general they are so so soft on the lips thank you Christy Sorry, I struggle a lot to make sure the top line's even. <laughs> Thank you, Gina. I think we're good enough. Let's just blot this off a little bit. Oh, thank you, Brianna. So I'm just gonna just kiss off like basically the extra, the extra little bit of moisture, if that makes sense. Okay, does match does match my shirt. And it doesn't look too bad with this eye look, but this is just not a normal. It's not bad. It's just not normal, Kayla. <laughs> how do you guys like? How do you guys like these colors? I did list the colors in the description, but if you don't see that, um, we use Victorious under my brow and basically through my eyelid there. That's just light matte color. We used um, Grateful Cream Shadow, um, blended up through here and kind of the eyelid, um, kind of a transition color throughout all that area. Thanks for the love, guys. And then we took Proud, this deep matte brown. And we took it in the outer V and slightly below as well. Um, you can get any three of our cream shadows. We have 25 shades, well, 28 shades to choose from now because there's three exclusive colors for this month. Um, but you get to choose any three for only $59 this month. Um, we have matte, shimmer, and then three new metallics. So you can message me if you want help, um, you know, picking some shades. We'll kind of do some deductions, see kind of what you like and stuff like that. But, um, and then we did loaded lipstick on the lips. Thank you, Kiki. Yeah, it's just it's just not me, but it does look it does look really good with this look. It does look pretty. I'm just I don't this I this I I might have worn out. I mean it's not the middle of the night, so I don't, I'm not leaving the house, but I might have worn this out. But normally I go with nudes or light pinks, that type of thing. You know me. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. But it does look good with this eye look, and I actually like this eye look more than I thought I would too. And these lashes though, Epic and 3D together is seriously crazy amazing. You need to try our lash mask or mascaras or lash products, all that. <laughs> uh, but if you don't have any more questions, I think I'm about to pop off. Definitely message me with any questions, of course, and go to caledsbeautytalk.com to shop for anything or to join my amazing team. If you have any questions about that, I'd let, definitely um, be happy to answer any questions or anything like that. It's only $99 to join and you get to, you know, have this huge kit of makeup and start your own business all from your phone which is so, so awesome. And I'd love to help you do as much as little as you want because you can kind of do whatever you want since there's no fees after you join. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Terry. Yeah, so our lipsticks last forever. Um, I've had this lipstick color 
I don't know, probably like at least a year and a half, I've had most of my lipsticks and they still feel exactly the same as when I first got it. Um, and like a color like Well To Do that I do super often, it's still not even out. And I use this a lot. <laughs> so, the last two five. But I think I'm gonna pop off. I don't see any more questions. Thanks for chatting with me today. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.